family and friends say a final goodbye to 59-year-old Thomas Christ. A visitation and private burial were held today in Wasaki, where one week ago today, investigators say Christ was shot and killed by suspected bank robber Stephen Snyder. NBC 26's Eric Crest was there today as the community came together. He's live at 5 with the details. Eric. Loved ones say Chris was a family man, a proud grandfather, and today the Wasaki community shared in the morning and celebration of his life. It was 59 years ago that Tom Christ was born in the small town of Wasaki. He stayed here his entire life. Well-known guy, hard-working guy, which is such a shame. And for those that are from here. I know his brother. And even those that aren't. It's just uh, a real sad day. As he's being laid to rest in the very place it all started. Hundreds of this extended community came together for their friend, co-worker, and loved one. It doesn't surprise me at all. Standing room only in the back. Benches in the pews are filled. They are setting up chairs in the basement. And while many here didn't know Chris personally, in a community like this, words about character get around. From what I understand about Tom, and this is from a few sources, that he's a person that would do almost anything for anybody. And as Chris's work vehicle leaves the funeral procession to his final resting place, folks in Wasaki find comfort that while they lost a good man, the support is marvelous. This community will always be there for each other. Thomas Christ is survived by his wife Marge of 35 years, two sons, two grandchildren, and a handful of siblings and co-workers. He was buried this afternoon at the Evergreen Cemetery. Eric Crest, NBC 26.